Hi, I'm Russell Cunningham with Australian Institute of Self-Development. I'd like to share with you today one of my favourite self-development processes. With over 27 years of looking into these kind of things, about seven or eight years ago, I kept hearing clients coming up saying that there was this new process where you could resolve emotional issues just by tapping on some acupressure points. And of course, with my background in hypnosis and hypnotherapy and NLP, I knew the only way to really resolve it was to do some deep unconscious work, some regression or timeline therapy, something like that. So I must admit, for a while I resisted even looking at these processes, but I kept hearing great results. So eventually I booked into a workshop, partly out of curiosity, but partly because I wanted to prove that this thing didn't work. I was sure it couldn't. But within a few minutes of experiencing EFT for myself, I felt a definite shift for myself and I was watching others getting great shifts as well. And so now it's become one of my favourite tools to assisting for, and assisting people to get what they want out of life. So let's just run through. The first part of the EFT process is what we call the setup. And the idea of the setup is to assist you to focus on some specific issue for you to resolve. So ideally what you do is think of a specific one-off event where you had some emotional intensity. Maybe a time when you felt angry or sad or hurt or frustrated. Some time when there was some emotional stress. And if you can do that now, think about a time when you felt some emotional stress and tune into that. And if you could tune into that, just ask yourself inside, what would the intensity of that stress or that emotion be out of 10? Maybe it was a 10 out of 10 anger or a or maybe it was an 8 out of 10 sadness or some other emotion. So tune into that specific one-off event. And one easy way to do that is to, in your mind's eye, make a short movie of that event. That's right. Just make like a 30-second movie of that event. And as you tune into that, give that emotion a score out of 10. Great. Now, what I'm going to get you to do is follow along with this with me now and tap on what we call the karate chop point. And as you tap on the karate chop point, I want you to say, even though I have this stress or whatever the emotion is, anger, sadness, hurt, and so on, I accept and love myself deeply and completely. Even though I have this stress, I accept and love myself deeply and completely. Even though I have this stress, or whatever the emotion is, I accept and love myself deeply and completely. Good. Now, staying tuned into that movie in your mind, just tap on what we call the eyebrow points, which is on the inside edge of the eyebrow, just above the bridge of the nose. And as you tap here, just repeat with me, staying tuned into that event, this stress, and tap round about seven times on the eyebrow point, and then on the side of the eye, this stress, that's right. And then just tap about an inch below the pupil on the cheekbones there, this stress, and tune right into the feeling of that emotion. That's right. Then the next points, we can kind of cheat and do two at once. One is just below the nose, and the other is in between the lip and the chin. So you just tap on those two points, saying this stress. That's right. Now the next point is just below the collarbone. So if you run your fingers along to the points of your collarbone, just before it goes down into the hollow there, and go roughly an inch or two and a half centimeters below that, and you'll find a little kind of hollow that's below the collarbone, but above the rib below it. And ideally, if you tap with three or four fingers on each side there on the collarbone point, tune into that movie in your mind, that's right, and say, this stress, that's right, tune right into it. Good. Now, the next point is underneath the armpit. Ladies, that's about where the brass strap goes across. The guys, it's about four inches below the armpit, 
on the side of the rib cage. And just tapping on that point, that's right, and staying tuned into that event, this stress, that's right. Now, some people have a challenge reaching that way. You can also tap this way, just don't start singing the chicken dance song. Right. Now, the next point is, for guys, it's one inch below the nipple. Ladies, don't do that. Ladies, just tap on the rib cage below the breast. That's right. And tune in to that event, that emotion, and just say, this stress. That's right. Now, after that, in the original version, we would tap on all the fingers, except for the ring finger. But let's do a little shortcut. What you can do, if you hold your hand like that, you can tap on the thumb and all four fingers at once, tapping just above the nail bed on each finger. That's right. Alternatively, you could tap on each finger in turn, missing the ring finger and tapping on the little finger. That's right. So just tune into that event again, that picture in your mind, and say, this stress, that's right. Very good. And then let's just finish up tapping on top of the head, tuning into that event, this stress, and then bring your hands down tapping on the side of the head. This stress, great. Now we'll just repeat the sequence again. This stress on the eyebrows, this stress, that's right, this stress, this stress, this stress, this stress, this stress, this stress, that's right. Now, take a moment, maybe take a deep breath and let it go, that's right. And then in your mind's eye, tune into that movie of that event and try as hard as you can to get that stress back. And as you tune into that, just give that stress a score now out of 10. And just notice how much it shifted. That's right. Now, some of you may already have gone to a zero on that so it's completely clear. Often though, it takes a few more rounds to completely resolve it. So if there is still some intensity left, let's just repeat that process. Even though I still have this remaining stress, I accept and love myself deeply and completely. Even though I still have this remaining stress, I accept and love myself deeply and completely. Even though I still have this remaining stress, I accept and love myself deeply and completely. That's right. This remaining stress, 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 This remaining stress. This remaining stress. That's right, then on the fingers. This remaining stress. Then this remaining stress. Well done. Now, this is a very simple process and you can just keep repeating this, focusing on each event or even each part of a specific event until you feel emotionally neutral. And as you do that, just notice how that feels in your body. 
Until next time, thanks for joining me. And remember, just keep trying it. You be the experiment. You be the proof for yourself. Thank you.